Well, good day, friends, and welcome back once again to the St. Paul Handicapable YouTube service. We want to welcome everyone and also to remind everyone right the very first that you could also be attending our in-person worship services, St. Paul United Methodist Church at the corner of Highland and Rosary. All right, one of the things that we always do to kick off our services, whether we're in person or on YouTube, we love to sing. And one of the songs we love to sing is the Jesse's version of the Lord's Army. Here we go. Got anybody in the Lord's Army? All right, you ready? I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly o'er the enemy. I'm in the Lord's army. I'm in the Lord's army. I'm in the Lord's army. Here we go now. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly o'er the enemy. I'm in the Lord's army. Woohoo! Now, how about that? Tommy, did you think we did a good job singing it? Ray said yes. Chrissy, what about it? Dale, Master Sergeant Dale, thank you for your help, okay? The B-I-B-L-E, the Bible, is like our roadmap. We ought to be able to carry that with us at all times and refer back to us to keep us strong in our faith. All right, Jesse, let's see us singing the B-I-B-L-E. What is our Bible lesson spelling test going to be tonight? The Bible. How do we spell the Bible? Tommy, you know it. That's right. It. Okay, here we go. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. One more time. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. The Bible, right, way to go, way to sing to him. And we've also got a song that each week that we have an opportunity to recognize those who may be having a birthday. And we always sing the joy song where we actually have an opportunity to collect offerings from our people. And we've been so blessed by the way that people have responded to our weekly offerings that help support our ministry and help support St. Paul Church. And we also remind ourselves each week about that God and Jesus loves us. And it's a little riddle. And I know that those of you who come in person and have been watching our services, you'll know that as well. Join in the fun and sing along. Oh, it's time for birthdays. We got anybody that's got a birthday? Yours is over. Yeah, mine was over. I had a birthday. And I want to thank all of you who gave me that beautiful card. You know, the last time we were here, had a beautiful card with all those wonderful signatures on it. Oh, wait a minute. Sarah's got a birthday? Well, come on down, birthday girl. Woo-hoo. All right. You got a birthday too, Crystal? Okay. Oh, you got a birthday. The 50, well, you want to stand up and be a part of it, Katrina? Come on, this is Katrina, one of our new members here tonight. Okay, come on, Katrina. All right, you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Say it in Corsadina. Happy birthday to you. All righty, big hand. Woo-hoo. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, so good. All right, our joy song. Why do we sing the joy song? We have to have joy in our hearts, right? Did, do you realize that we have already passed another Christmas time? We're starting we're in, well into our 26th year of this wonderful ministry called Handicapable Ministry. So we should be very joyful at that. Renee, could you kind of help maybe pass some of the baskets out? And we'll get everything going here, and we'll do the joy song. 
I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I've got the peace of Jesus, peace of Jesus. Down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the peace of Jesus, peace of Jesus. Down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got the light of Jesus, light of Jesus. Down in my heart, down in my heart. Down in my heart, I've got the light of Jesus, light of Jesus. Down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus. Down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus. Down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I've got the joy, 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 joy. Down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy. Down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. All righty, woohoo! Way to go, way to go. Oh, we got handy announcements coming up. Gail always wants to remind us. That God and Jesus both love us when? Just on Wednesday night primarily, isn't it? Every, could he be? Every second of every minute, every minute of every hour, every hour of every day, every day of every week, every week of every month, every month of every year. He loves us throughout eternity, and I pray I've made myself quite clear. Woohoo! All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this crowd. Boy, it's just continuing to grow. You know, when I came down, I'd been down here early, got here about, uh, oh, we're setting things up at five, and nobody was here, and Dennis and I were talking a little bit and everything, and it got closer to a little bit after five. Renee came and brought me a great big old Wawa hamburger that was really good. Woo, baby. And then I came down. There was still nobody here. And I thought maybe that they had decided that they closed the whole city of Largo down and we weren't going to have church tonight. But look what happened, Virginia. We got all kind of people here. Praise God. Okay. Jesus has promised to us, Philippians 4, verse 13, in him who is the source of my strength, I have strength for everything. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we love singing the songs that we sing. We love having an opportunity to gather together as a handicapable family, O oh Father, to learn more about you, to learn more about your teachings, to learn more about how we're supposed to go out into the world and bring others into the open arms of Jesus. Oh, Father, we're just so thankful for this opportunity we have tonight to be able to share a, another story about Jesus, learning what we should do. And, Father, just bless each of us. And we want to also remember all the prayer requests that will be lifted up this evening to our in-person worship service where each one writes down their prayer requests and their praise reports. Bless us in all that we do, for we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. All right, tonight, another one of the teachings and stories of Jesus, One Lamb is Lost. Scripture comes from Luke chapter 15, verse 6, and it says, The shepherd calls his friend and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost sheep. You know, Jesus was sharing a story one uh, day with there were some tax collectors there and other sinners, you know, tax collectors were looked upon and were scorned by uh, all the people because they were not well thought of. And then Jesus had this story about a lamb that's lost. Now, what in the world could it be talking about? My entry into the St. Paul Handicapable Ministry actually came back in December of 1997 when the founder, Dr. Bill Fritz, started the ministry called the St. Paul Handicapable Ministry back in October of 1997. December 1997, he asked if I would come in and dress as the Good Shepherd and tell the Christmas story. 
and I loved coming in, and from that time on, I was hooked on being a part of the handicapable ministry. So tonight we're going to look and kind of relive some of the experiences when this Jesus was telling about what happens when a lamb is lost. There you can see this picture right there. It's not actually a lamb, but it looks mighty close to a lamb, but it's one of uh, the golden, I mean, a uh, great Pyrenees that we have loved. I, a lamb is lost. Let me tell you what the landscape was like back during the days of Jesus. The pasture was very limited. You know, you didn't have a lot of place where the sheep could spread out and all, and they had dangerous mountain cliffs that could be close by. And sheep have a tendency to wander. You know, when I was thinking about that, it makes me think of our two great Pyrenees, Bandit and Onyx. And if you could name one that would be a wanderer, it would be Onyx himself. I'm telling you what, he likes to wander. He'll go back in the backyard. Bandit is more or less one that if I'm laying on the couch, he wants to lay right by by me on, on the couch. And Onyx, he will be a lot of times where his mother's on the other couch, he'll be sitting right with her and putting his paw up on her leg or something, saying, I want to go outside, I want to go do some wandering. So she'll let him go outside. But sheep also have a tendency to do that. And usually most of the sheep, they fall in like they're supposed to, and they stay together, but occasionally there'll be one that will wander off for whatever reason. Now, one of the things that was a characteristic trait of the shepherds, they were expert trackers. If something were to get lost, they had so much experience, they could track and try to find out where that lost sheep was. And Jesus was telling the story like there were a hundred sheep. And if one of them got lost, that one lost sheep meant so much to the shepherd that the shepherd would leave the flock with other shepherds that would be there, and he would wander off to find that the one sheep that was lost. Also, Many flocks were communal, which meant that maybe there were three or four families that had their all sheep together, and the shepherds were responsible for maintaining control of the sheep and giving an accounting of all the sheep when they came back after they'd been, you know, taking care of the sheep out in the pasture land. And if there was one that was lost, they had to account for it. So let's just take an example of one that did go, wandered off to a, a mountain cliff, and the shepherd saw the sheep right there and knew the sheep was in a uh, great area of peril, could possibly fall off and do damage to him, himself and also to the sheep, or possibly the sheep could be lost with that. But the shepherd was able to retreat and save that particular sheep, and so he brought it back to the flock, and they had great rejoicing because that one sheep that was lost was able to be brought back home. So there was great rejoicing when a lost sheep was found, especially when you had to go back and the shepherds had to go back and give an accounting to whoever owned the sheep, especially they would always share their story. Let me tell you the story about the one lost sheep that uh, was able to be found. Now the same message goes on to the fact that in heaven there's great rejoicing when a lost soul returns home. And you know, each of us have an opportunity to be a shepherd to others. If we have one of our friends that we know that is lost in this journey of uh, staying on the road of righteousness where you can one day enter into heaven, we have a responsibility and an obligation to try to help God help that soul come back into the open arms of Jesus. And when that happens, they say in the Bible, there's great rejoicing in heaven. And that's what we, our goal is and what we're always striving to be is to be better shepherds and better followers of Jesus and bringing in others to the open arms of Jesus. All right, other ways that we're trying to become better followers of Jesus is uh, also we need to read, believe, and act on His Word, and we need to pray for strength and guidance. And I thank so much everybody who's a part of the Handicapable family, everybody who's a part of St. Paul United Methodist Church for the continual prayers that we lift up, not only for our own in the Handicapable ministry, but for the continuation of prayers for all those who are involved in St. Paul United Methodist Church and all the ministries that we have that reach out into the community. God bless us in all that we do, and God bless you this night. And don't forget, we'll see you again next week, and God loves you more than you could ever imagine. Have a great evening.